Welcome Scorpio. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth Self-Awareness Deck. Slam on the table. Sorry about that. Oracle of the Seven Energy and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so Scorpio. Uh, let's try this deck first. Okay, so Soul Truth. Is your soul true? On the floor, of course. It's okay. So long as they come out, all right. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. One more card for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. First card we have here is, do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Second card is, what am I looking for outside myself that is already within me? Sorry, I completely butchered that. Right? Second, third, golly gosh. Okay, slow down. Third card, how can I be more kind to myself? And offer more grace in this very moment. Let's start with the first one here. Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? It says the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Make a desire list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and clarify if there is anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? Mm, that's a good point. That's a really good point here, Scorpio. Okay, the people who you surround yourself with. Tell me more about this, Scorpio. Okay, so we've got one card on the floor. Let me get that. Alrighty, so the first card we have is Roots of Abundance. I like this. I like this for the fact that it's telling me when you grow a tree, in order for a tree to grow this sturdy and this strong, it has to be nurtured with, with nutrients and minerals that are healthy, right? And it's a little bit like us, right? What are we putting into ourselves, not just with food, um, but mentally, what are we surrounding ourselves with? Yeah. Because if this tree surrounded itself with toxic trees or toxic poisons, it's not going to be able to grow very well, if at all. So if we do the same with the people around us, yeah. We need to be careful with that, right? Okay, so tell me more about Roots of Abundance, please. Two cards for Roots of Abundance for Scorpio. Yeah. See, when, when, when you um, make sure that what's in your garden is healthy, you are able to have a breakthrough. And, and the thing is that potentially it is the case that you, um, when you surround yourself with people who lift you up and inspire you and encourage you and really do have your back truly and utterly, it's not just about what they can get from you. It's about what they can give to you from their heart, 
without expecting anything back, then you can have the breakthrough that I feel like you would love to have. You know, because it's sort of like banging on the 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 glass of like surely it's going to happen is it going to happen yet is it going to happen yet right there's the no thingness i feel like some of you may feel it in the dark you may feel like you're surrounded by nothing there's just this nothingness all around you and part of this i feel scorpio is you changing your mind about that and realizing that the nothingness is the everything Hmm. It's everything. And tapping into that, tapping into that infinite source of the everythingness. But also you can make this whatever you want it to be, right? Like kind of view it as a blank canvas of how you want to create that, yeah? Because underneath that I go to put it down, then something else comes up. Then, un because underneath the soil, where the root roots take form, is darkness. No one can see what's growing. But the tree knows. The tree knows where it's headed, and it knows it's headed towards the light. And the tree, the seed to begin with, is going to implant itself into an area that it instinctually knows is going to be healthy for it. So if you're in an environment that you don't feel is healthy, it's important for you to re-evaluate what is going on for yourself, okay? Great and full. This is about your cup and what you're putting in it, okay? Because when your cup is great and full, you will not lower yourself to anybody else's standards and accept nothing less from anyone else. Okay? Great and full. That card just fell out. I don't like that. Tell me more about great and full. Great and full. have abundance and maturity here this is a beautiful abundant beginning like this is this is yeah wow okay Scorpio sorry it is just all coming through right now like this is huge um yeah looking at this is really about you sowing the seeds for your life because this is something that is going to be very substantial and will last a long, long time. So it is important to consider where you are sowing your seeds and with whom you are sowing them. Incredibly important. Because you have the potential for an amazingly abundant life. So choose wisely, I would say, Scorpio. Choose very wisely. Even if it's like, oh, but I don't want to let go of that person. But I, you know, this and that. And it's like, no, no, no. If you know deep down in your heart of hearts that they are not right for you, that the circumstance is not right for you, that this group of people is not right for you, Scorpio, listen, listen, yeah? Look at this, wish upon a star. What do you wish for? How do you see? How do you see? What it is that you want to create that abundant life. What does that look like? Wish upon a star. And let your heart lead. Because that will take you to the right people who are there for you. Okay, so wish upon a star. Okay, let me pick this up. Wow. The master. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Scorpio, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, the master. Go on this adventure in search of the master who resides within you, right? In the nothingness, the one that sits in the darkness that you push aside, that you push at the back of you to go, no, 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 I have to do it this way and I have to do it that way and blah, 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 blah. And don't let this master through to lead the way, right? Be adventurous with it. Go into your childlike spirit. Remember when you were a kid and you used to go on adventures and make it all up in your mind and this wild imagination of what you could do? Right? That's the authentic self. That's the truth of you. Right? This is the master. Let him out. Let the master, you, the master, let the master out here, Scorpio. Okay? Because what is the next card here? What am I looking for outside myself that is already within me? The master. Searching for all, the, for all of the answers in all the wrong places. You have all the answers. Okay, so this says, Are you looking for more guidance, confidence, peace, wisdom, love, or something else? When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward to find everything you seek. All the answers you need lie within you. You just got to listen, right? Listen to that intuition and what it's telling you. And sometimes we don't want to hear that. We're like, no, I don't want that to be the case. But you have to listen because it is right. It's always right. Okay, so today's soul action. And when we're talking about the, act, the, the soul actions for today, do it every day. Okay, and even if you have to come back and remind yourself on this video of what that soul action is or these three soul actions are for the day, do it. Because this is this is part of this transformation of your life. If you want your life to change and you want it to transform, do the work. It's the only way. You can't keep doing the same thing every day and expecting a different result. It's not going to happen. You've got to change it up. Okay, so the soul action for today is breathe in your favorite essential oil, inhale deeply into your belly, drop your shoulders and spend some time hanging out with your soul today. Yes, yeah, surround yourself with your own soul before any other souls in this world, right? And make sure that soul you are listening to it. Okay, ask for what you need and be ready for the answers. 100% Scorpio. Okay, because your soul will tell you the truth. And like I say, it might not be what you want to hear. And I'm laughing because I know, I know from experience, it's like, no, no. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Two cards came out there. I'm taking this one. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yep. Okay, so we've got this first card here. This is cool, man. The land in between. And I feel like this is where you are. It's like going from one, you know, there's one. Um, it's kind of like you have a dream, right? You want to go somewhere. And you're, you say like the dream resides here, right? And you're over here. Okay. And you're, 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 you you want to travel. You want to travel over to this side. And so it's actually like getting on the bridge and going and standing on the land in between those two worlds. And I feel like, actually, Scorpio, you could be on the land in between. Yeah. And for some reason, you've stopped and gone because, you know, it can be scary and it can be new. And it's like, oh, this is foreign. Am I doing the right thing here? Am I? No. So, yeah. Okay, so tell me more about the land in between, though. I think there's this fear of it all crumbling and giving away, giving way, and um, yeah, that's scary. I get that. Okay, so oh, I just knocked it on the floor. Oh. Okay, let me pick this up. Okay, so we have this card here, the outsider. This is this fear of rejection. 
Fear of Rejection, and we have Completion. Turning away from the gate. Looking through the gate for far too long, you need to turn away so that you can start again. You can start this new chapter of your life. Um, because looking through the gate, it's not helping you. You need to you need to move. You need to get moving so that you can proceed forward. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and it's sort of like the other thing I want to say about this is looking for the answers again in all the wrong places, right? It's within you here. Okay. And um, once you turn within and really listen to yourself, you're going to realize that you are the master of your life. You are the master. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, so a deep breath. Yeah, see, this is what this is saying, right? Take a deep breath. It says, breathe in your favorite essential oil. Take a deep breath. And I feel like this is actually taking a moment to just still yourself because there's so much going on um that yeah i think it's a little bit too intense and you need to take that time for you okay so yeah yeah we have guilt here but i don't know if it's guilt necessarily for some of you it may be it could even be that you wanting to go in another direction causes guilt if that's not what other people in your life want okay um but this is about this mind stuff here because you want to reach this um <clears throat> This life, which is in full bloom, um, but you've got to pass through this storm. But the storm is more in your head, okay? Um, and <clears throat> when you wish for something, you've got to take the steps required to get there. Just thinking about it is not going to be enough. You need to take inspired action to actually get to where you want to be. And that means doing the hard work, okay? Beyond the ordinary. I love this because I feel like with this card here, I feel like when you look within, there are things that are going to come to you that you are going to be are actually going to blow your socks off. You're going to, you're going to surprise yourself. You're going to amaze yourself and you're going to question yourself. But I kind of feel like you'll eventually get to the point where you realize that, yeah, I am actually, I'm, I am the master. So I'm, I'm just going to believe in myself now. <laughs> yeah okay so beyond the ordinary two cards for beyond the ordinary for scorpio please okay yep be receptive to the journey on which you're traveling here right be receptive to this okay um It's, it's not always easy and it's not always going to be easy. There's going to be rough terrain that you have to travel. And Scorpio, particularly for you, I feel like this is a journey for those of you who watch this. This is a journey that you have traveled alone and it can be very lonely and it can be hard. It, it can be hard doing it alone. And, and sometimes, you know, it's like trying to find people to travel it with you, but it never quite never quite makes the cut because this leg of the journey is is meant to be done by you and you alone this is about you discovering how you are there for yourself which is why you have to do it alone and when you're forever looking for for things outside of yourself to bring in you're not discovering yourself and the sooner you do that the easier it's going to be on you Okay, Okay. so the next card is how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? Yeah, and I love this because you are incredibly hard on yourself. In fact, I would say for some of you, you can be quite nasty to yourself inside your mind. So it's looking at these things. You know, would you sit there and say things to someone else 
outside of you, who are sitting next to you, would you be that nasty to them? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't imagine so. Okay, growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Today's soul action. Look at yourself with a grace filter. Oh, I love that. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill in that hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. Walking in the master's shoes. Yeah? Okay, so tell me more about this. Scorpio please tell me more about Scorpio needing to be nice to themselves and be kind to themselves and being graceful to themselves yes oh that's two why am I getting two cards let me pick one of them up I wasn't too sure which one to take so we'll get another one okay so Cool. Okay, so the first card we have here is Willing Release. Um, I feel like this is Willing Release of, first of all, being um, not very nice to yourself. Okay, um, and it's also a Willing Release of your wishes, right? Wishing upon a star. Remember, like, you know, when we were kids, we used to grow on, uh, sorry, blow on the dandelions and make a wish, right? And let them be carried off and our wishes went with them. And it's sort of like that, make a wish and believe that it will come true. Um, so let's have a look here. Two cards for willing release for Scorpio, please. Hmm. This here is, is, a, um, is something that is a new beginning in your truth, a new beginning in your life which is honest, which is authentic, which is um, also the energy from this card. It is peaceful, right? It's been, it's it's walking, tra I would say, sorry, Scorpio, traveling. Wow, I just saw two, 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 two on the clock then. It jumped out at me. Okay, sorry, let me carry on here because I'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, Scorpio. This is about you traveling through life consciously, authentically, and honestly. Honestly with yourself and your heart's desires. Okay? With people who share that same kind of energy, right? Stop fighting. You can take the armor off. When you walk in the shoes as the master, you don't need the armor. Okay? There's an either an internal battle going on or there's battling out you know fighting among others and um and i feel like just drop the armor you don't need to protect yourself when you are walking in your authentic shoes this is being truthful and traveling as the master that you truly are right because don't forget you have you are beginning an abundant new journey here and in order for that to come through this is how you must travel because it can't come in any other way. Okay. So this card here, 22. This is why I'm like, what the heck? Um, tender embrace. See, I feel like this is actually, it could be you in a relationship. Um, this could be what you desire. But I feel like this is you giving this to you. First and foremost. As you would to another. Right. But yeah. It's a beautiful card. This is one of my actual favorite cards of the deck here. Okay, so tell me more about Tender Embrace. Tender Embrace for Scorpio. Down. This is what is stopping this Tender Embrace. This is what is stopping you from loving yourself. Right? 
this putting on this this face not seeing the truth not seeing things for how they truly are keeping yourself in this box pretending to the world that everything's fine when it's not it's really not this armor is on for a reason And you just hope that one day you'll wake up and it will, all that will be gone. But it can't go unless you do the work here, Scorpio. Spirit of Gratitude. See, talking about the cup being great and full. Great and full. Grateful. Right? Gratitude. This is how you can grow something beautiful out of your cup. By being grateful. Grateful for what you have. Grateful for who you are. Spirit of Gratitude, tell me more about this. Not sure about that first card, and I want to see if anything else pops out. Wow, okay. Let me pick this up. Okay, so, Scorpio. This is telling us a little bit of a story here. Okay, when we're talking about Spirit of Gratitude. Okay, we've got this rebirth here. This rebirth, which is definitely the ending of an, a way of being, okay, and allowing this music to be played from within, this music, the truth of who you are, okay, and allowing that, I feel like once you allow it to come out, it's going to be intense, um, in, and not in a bad way though, not in a bad way, but it's kind of like once you actually unlock, unlock yourself, to be truly free, to step into the master that you are, right? Once you stand in this energy here, yeah? Because, because I say this because I feel like this is you, and what you can head towards and stand in this, the presence of this, because this is your authentic self, right? Man, you're going to be able to, you know, have that breakthrough, right? Have that breakthrough that you need, right? And that you desire. But what's going to happen is that when you let go of the control, of trying to control everything in your life to be the way you feel it needs to be in order to feel comfortable, okay, when you let go of that, you're going to be able to chill and relax. Actually, truly and utterly chill and relax. Because that seems to be very difficult for you to do. Very difficult for you to do. Okay, because here's the thing. When you sit in the silence and you dream... You dream a dream that seems impossible. There's something you want in your life which seems as though it is only a dream. And the only way to reach that dream is to step in her to who you truly are. To allow the consciousness of that to embody you. Right? Because that's what you truly want, right? Love. To be nurtured. To be cared for. To be in the loving embrace of someone who is genuine. So, in order to receive that, you need to give it to yourself first and foremost. Because you can't receive what it is that you don't possess within. And you can't give it either. How are you meant to exchange that energy when it's not there to, to give, let alone receive? Receptivity, right? Be open. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that with you. You've got some work to do, so please take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.